Well, after four years, a new robotic strawberry harvester is now picking fruit in Florida. As SoutheastProduceWeekly.com's Chip Carter reports, the equipment is the start of a coming automation revolution in the produce industry. I'm Chip Carter in Duet, Florida. Automation in agriculture is nothing new. In the produce industry, a more delicate touch is required, so it's been a little trickier. That's what makes the Harvest Crew B4, this behemoth behind me, all the more interesting. It's the first fully automated robotic strawberry picker. Gary, this day has been four years in the making. You've got to be very excited and very proud right now. Yes, I am. We've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations along the way. It's not a straight line in development in technology when you're doing it's a lot of a trial and error. And so it's a matter of um, just keep trying until you get it right. Berry 4 is the culmination of a bunch of different uh, projects that we've been working on over the last, you know, three to four years and culminating it into a single machine that can basically, you know, match what a picking team can do in a couple of days. It just looks like a platform slowly creeping through this field. What you can't see are the robotic arms underneath that are whirring and cutting and pulling. They're doing the work of eight human harvesters. We got three great things we're going to provide to the farmer and to the consumer. Uh, the first is the farmer has, you know, guaranteed um, harvesting through the entire season. Uh, the second thing is we're going to reduce expenses. We're going to reduce overage in the packing and we're going to reduce cooling costs that they incur today. And the last thing is traceability, food safety. This is a hands-free packaging effort, which means that the quality of the fruit when it gets to the market is safer and better for the consumers. Regardless of the technology you have, you can never really apply it to commercial operations unless you were actually working directly with the farmers on their farms to see all the intricacies of what has to happen to make it work. A lot of farmers are, are sort of begging for help right now just because they're having such issues with the labor and we'll be able to rapidly develop that stuff now to be able to work with them. We've watched year by year as this harvester has progressed and, and gotten better and better and better. How close do you think you are to, a, to an actual commercial production model? I believe we're still about two years away. We're going to iterate again on the vehicle this next uh, generation next year. And that one, I think, is going to be the one that we're going to be ready to build commercially and take to market. Labor has long been an issue in agriculture, and it will be for a while to come yet. There are solutions already at work in the field, and more to come right around the corner. In Duet, Florida, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com, reporting for RFD-TV. And be sure to look for more from Chip next week on the Florida peach and blueberry seasons, as well as live updates on the Vidalia onion season. You can log on to SoutheastProduceWeekly.com for the latest in produce news.